John Bergman here with FlipClass.com. Explain everything for making flipped class videos. So here is Explain Everything. It's a great way to make flipped class videos. The key to this is really to start a project. So I'm going to click a plus button right here. As you click the plus button, you've got some options. The options are, well, some different sort of uh, background templates. I'll choose kind of light background with uh, some different colored pens, red, black, green. The key to this is if you look at the bottom um, is down here is you've got the record button. So if I tap on the record button, it's now actually recording. So anything that I were to write on here, I can change the width of my pen, for example. I can, you know, I can say 2x minus 8 equals 16. Uh, boys and girls need to add both 8 to both sides. The 8's cancel. I get 2x is equal to 16 plus 8, which of course is 24. You'll divide both sides by 2. 2's cancel x is 24 divided by 2, which is 12. So it's got a nice whiteboarding feature, so I'm a huge fan of that. Um, but you can actually just add a new slide by tapping the plus button down here, and I have a new slide, and I can continue to draw. Uh, you can see with the, the pen tool, I've got you know marker tools. I can change quickly to a brown pen and a green pen, and, and I can hold this down, in fact, and change the colors of the pen, whatever the defaults that you like. So it's a real simple app, um, very simple app. Uh, you can tap right here on the slide button, and you can actually kind of rearrange these slides, whichever way I want to do this. But my favorite button is actually this little plus button. So watch what I can do. I can I can tap on, say, new video, and um, I'm going to flip the video around, and then you can see me. Oh, my thumb was in the way. And so now watch what I do. I can say, today, boys and girls, we're going to learn about how to solve a mathematical equation. And so now that's been recorded on my iPad, and it is in... Um, the screen here. So now what I could do is actually I could take that and make that my first video, right? See, these are like individual slides over here, and then I'll eventually uh, have the the program and it will stitch the videos together. And, and one of the most the most important or favorite parts of this is actually another part of the plus button. Let me add a new uh, slide by pushing the plus button bottom here. If I push the plus button here, I can also add a file. Now here's something really powerful. So let's say that I created a video using PowerPoint, or, or I created a PowerPoint uh, using my computer, and I have now connected to say my Dropbox file. So um, so uh, I can actually import, notice here, a PDF. This is a PDF that I've got. I can uh, create an Excel spreadsheet, a DocX, or a PowerPoint. And so um, let's see if I can find a, a, a short PowerPoint. Um, here's about flipped um, action research. So it's bringing in um, that right now. You see the blue bar coming across. And then what it's going to do is it's going to bring in a PowerPoint that was created. This one isn't created by me, by somebody else from Stanmore College. He shared this with me and I saved it to my Dropbox file. Notice sort of bringing each slide comes in as one pick, if you will. Now, if you've done any animations in your PowerPoint, that's all lost. It's just taking a picture of each slide in your PowerPoint deck. And that's what it's doing. And then what it's doing is importing it all. Now, if you look here, instead of four slides, I now have 24 slides. So I've got my two X ones. And now here I have all my slides. Now I can annotate over that. So I can tap on this one, the, the fourth slide. I'm on it right now. I can now retap record. Hey, so flip teaching findings from action research. So Anthony Frain has done this for us, and so we're going to learn about some of the action research. Um, he's currently teaching alongside at Stanmore College. So he's, you know, I'm annotating over a PowerPoint. If you've got images, um, those images can, I'll, I'll skip a few things. Ah, here's an image, and we can talk about this image if we want, etc. I think you kind of get the idea. You can do lots of really cool things. Another thing I'm a big fan of is if you tap this button right here, it's kind of like a highlight tool. And um, let me hold it down and show you. Most people just like to use the circle. And what I'm doing here is I'm making a circle. And this circle right here is just circling something. It's not making a mark. It's just making a circle. And if you really want to get total geeked out, I don't know if you realize what we just had that a minute ago. This right here, of course, is a lightsaber. And you can have dueling lightsabers. Remember, your audience are a bunch of teenagers. And we can have the lightsabers fight. Ah, ah! Luke, use the force. OK, sorry. I diverse. Um, that's really how you do this. Um, notice it continues to record, 35, 36, 37. I'll pause it now. Now, uh, lots of other features. I would encourage you really to look at the different buttons. You can add a new picture. I can, you know, I'll add a picture. So um, I can take a picture of my foot. I don't know why my foot would go into the screen. If I can find my foot. So there's John's foot. So we have a picture of John's foot. Why you'd want that, I have no idea. But now I can say, I can do this, go like that, say done. 
And now you see I can have this, I can resize it, I can flip it around. This could be like the, uh, a sample of student work. So that could be pretty awesome. Think about what you could do with taking a picture right in the midst of making the video. And then now, of course, I can hit the record button, and now I can comment and say, John, you have flat feet. That's why you're wearing these special feet things for running. Kind of weird. Let's say I've, I've made my video. I'm, like, totally happy. Down here is the export to some features. So you can export to YouTube, to the camera roll, um, or possibly more. Let me tap on more. Here's the more. Oh, pretty cool. You can send it to iTunes. You can send it to Dropbox. Right back to Dropbox. I can send it to Evernote, Google Drive, and many, many other things. Um, it, you have to decide uh, what format you're going to send it to. Lots of options. Send it right to YouTube. is pretty easy. Making Flip Class videos with Explain Everything. This has been John Bergman with FlipClass.com.